Today we'll be reviewing how to graph linear equations. Um, this is a review to get us ready for graphing a system of a linear and a quadratic equation. Um, we're going to look at four different examples. Uh, just a reminder that when we're trying to graph linear equations, we would like them to be in this format, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Um, we're going to graph each of the following equations and identify the y-intercept and the slope. <clears throat> All right, example one. Uh, first off, we have y equals 3x plus 2. And if I line that up with y equals mx plus b, it's pretty simple to see that m is 3 and b is 2. So our slope is 3. And we always write slope as a fraction, so we can do rise over run. So that's going to be 3 over 1. And our y-intercept is 2. And y-intercepts are always written as a point. So that would be 0, 2. OK. Now, when we graph, um, knowing that we have a slope and a y-intercept, we always start here at our y-intercept. That is at the point 0, 2 which would be right here on this graph. And then we use our slope of 3 over 1 to get to our next point. That means we're going to go up 3 and over 1 to get our next point. And we connect our dots to make our line. OK, same deal here. Um, I have example 2, y equals 1 fourth, x plus 5. I'm going to line that up with y equals mx plus b. So we have m is 1 fourth and b is 5. So slope is 1 over 4. <clears throat> and our y-intercept is 0, 5. Again, we're always going to start with our y-intercept, which is 0, 5. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's where we start. Our slope is 1 fourth, so I'm going to go up 1 and to the right 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. And I'm going to connect my dots with a line. Oops. Didn't quite get there. And there I have my graph. If you can, try and draw your lines with a ruler. Um, there should be some available on the counter. <clears throat> Example 3, I have 3x minus 2y equals 2. Now this obviously does not line up with y equals mx plus b. So what we need to do is make that happen um, by getting y by itself. So I'm going to try and get everything else away from that y. just like we would solve an equation. So I'm going to start by subtracting 3x from both sides. I have negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 2. Then I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. OK. So here, these negative 2s are going to cancel out. This negative and this negative will cancel out. And I'll have y equals 3 over 2x plus 2 divided by negative 2 is going to be a negative 1. I'm going to get rid of that addition sign. It's going to become negative 1. Now this lines up with y equals mx plus b. And I know that my slope is going to be 3 over 2. My y-intercept is at negative 1. And I can use that. Oh, I have to put my y-intercept as an ordered pair, 0, comma, negative 1. Okay, there's my y-intercept. I'm going to use my slope to go up three spaces and to the right 
two. There's my next point. And there's my line. Example four. Um, this one also needs to be made to look like y equals mx plus b. So again, I'm going to make it happen by solving for y. To solve for y, I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. And I have negative y equals negative 4x minus 3. I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. These negatives will cancel, these negatives will cancel, these negatives will cancel. And I will be left with y equals 4x plus 3. My slope is 4, my y-intercept is 3. Remember, we want our slopes to be written as fractions, so I'm going to put 4 over 1 to make it a fraction. And my y-intercept has to be written as an ordered pair. So that's going to be 0, 3. I'm going to start at my y-intercept. 0, 3 is here. And I'm going to use my slope to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 1, which will get me about there. And there's my line. Okay, that is how you graph a linear equation.